Today, we're at Live Oak Conservation Plaza. This site was purchased by the Futil Eastern Transportation Corridor Agency in 2005. It's one of the 17 different sites owned by the agencies, totaling over 2,000 acres of open space. Transportation Corridor Agencies is known for its environmental stewardship. We balance the construction of our facilities, of our roadways, with the environmental conservation. We make sure that we give back to the environment elsewhere. The cattle that we have uh, behind me, we are using those for conservation grazing here at Live Walk. And this is where we're using cattle to get rid of the non-native vegetation on this site. And so we use the cattle to graze that so we can allow the native vegetation which supports the native wildlife that we have in this area to find room to grow. We assess the existing vegetation management methods that we use here at Live Oak, which typically involves fuel management each spring in order to reduce the fire hazard per county requirements. But there is also a desire to improve the quality of the habitat here at Live Oak. And so we assessed different grazing options. Cattle became an appropriate livestock to use on the land because it both achieved the goals of reducing fire hazard, but also enhancing the habitat value of the existing habitat here at Live Oak. The benefits of using cattle is that they are selective browsers. Cows, they eat certain things and leave certain things in part. Plus also their weight also has an added benefit to the soils. The hooves on the cows are specifically important because they punch holes in the ground, they hit the ground, it, it compacts the soil on either side, aerates a portion in the middle. That little thing fills up with rainwater and that's where your new seedlings grow. We've learned that grazing is actually a useful tool to bring back to the land in a, in a very science-based, managed and monitored way in order to heal it. Is we've got three virtual fences. When they approach the virtual fence line, the collar makes a sound. If they go past the sound, they get shocked. If they go through the shock, it shuts off. If they walk back in, it doesn't shock them at all. You can turn my computer on, hit Google Earth, so you can see where every cow you've got is 24 seven. So we'll see how things work here. And like any science experiment, you can replicate it elsewhere. The partnership we have with TCA is the first pilot program in Orange County for any kind of an agency to holistically plan graze ground. Initially, this is a three-year pilot grazing program. And at the end of that three years, we'll assess whether conservation grazing should continue or another management method is appropriate to meet the habitat enhancement goals for the property. The Transportation Corridor Agencies has 17 different sites across the county but this is the only site where we are starting this program. And now that cattle grazing has begun, um, as part of the conservation grazing plan that we wrote, we're gonna be doing uh, ongoing monitoring and providing management recommendations on how to adjust the grazing programs we go forward to meet the goals, which are to enhance the habitat, to reduce the fire hazard, and to uh, basically have a sustainable management method here on Live Oak Plaza. 